Welcome, everyone. Today, we're diving into the extraordinary life and career of Sean Diddy Combs, a multi-talented mogul who has left an indelible mark on the music and entertainment industries. From his beginnings as a young intern at Uptown Records to becoming a global icon, Diddy's story is one of ambition, creativity, and resilience. Known for his hit songs, groundbreaking business ventures, and larger-than-life personality, Diddy has continuously reinvented himself and pushed the boundaries of success. We'll explore his biggest achievements, personal struggles, and philanthropic efforts that have shaped his legacy. Before we dive in, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and share it with fellow fans. Let's get started. About Sean Combs' Early Life Sean John Combs was born on November 4, 1969, in the Harlem neighborhood of New York City. Raised in Mount Vernon, New York, his mother Janice Combs, nay Smalls, was a model and teacher's assistant, and his father, Melvin Earl Combs, served in the U.S. Air Force and was an associate of convicted New York drug dealer Frank Lucas. At age 33, Melvin was shot dead while sitting in his car on Central Park West, when Combs was two years old. Combs has a sister, and grew up in poverty, Combs was raised Catholic and served as an altar boy. He graduated from Mount St. Michael Academy, an all-boys Catholic school, in 1987. He played football for the academy, and his team won a division title in 1986. Combs said he was given the nickname, Puff, as a child, because he would huff and puff when he was angry. Combs was a business major at Howard University, but left after his second year. In 2014, he returned to Howard University to receive an honorary doctorate in humanities and to deliver the university's 146th commencement address. The university revoked the degree following his 2024 arrest. They returned his $1 million gift and terminated his pledge agreement. About Sean Combs' personal life. Combs is a father to seven children. His first biological child, a son, was born in 1993 to fashion designer and stylist Misa Hilton. He attended UCLA on a football scholarship and graduated in 2016. Combs had an on-again, off-again relationship with Kimberly Porter, 1970-2018, which lasted from 1994-2007. to 2007. He raised and adopted Quincy, born 1991, Porter's son from a previous relationship with singer-producer and Combs's rival, Al B. Shore. Together, they had a son, born 1998, and twin daughters, born 2006. Porter died of pneumonia on November 15, 2018. Five months before the birth of his twins, Combs had a daughter, born to Sarah Chapman. He took legal responsibility for her in October 2007. Combs was in an 11-year relationship with Cassie Ventura from 2007 to 2018. Combs's eldest sons both appeared on MTV's My Super Sweet 16. For his oldest son's 16th birthday, Combs presented him with a $360,000 Maybach car. Combs threw a celebrity-studded party and gave his second eldest son two cars as his 16th birthday present. Combs's seventh child was born on October 15, 2022, a daughter. Her mother is Dana Tran. In November 2022, Combs and his second eldest son became the first father-son duo to have simultaneous number one hits. Combs reached the top of the Billboard Adult R&B Airplay chart with Gotta Move On, while his son, under his stage name King Combs, topped Mediabase US Urban Radio chart with Can't Stop Won't Stop, featuring Kodak Black. Combs owns a home in Alpine, New Jersey, which he purchased for $7 million in 1990. About Sean Combs' career. 1990-1996, Career Beginnings. In 1990, Combs began his career as an intern at Uptown Records, where he worked under Andre Harrell as a talent director, helping to develop artists like Joe DeC and Mary J. Oblige. Known for his wild college lifestyle, which Usher described as wild, Combs organized a tragic oversold AIDS fundraiser in 1991 that resulted in nine deaths due to a stampede. After being fired from Uptown in 1993, he founded Bad Boy Records, signing artists such as the notorious B.I.G. and Craig Mack, and later expanding his roster with Faith Evans, 112, and Total. Combs faced criticism during the East Coast-West Coast, Coast hip-hop feud, particularly from Tupac Shakur and Suge Knight, while producing tracks for TLC's acclaimed album Crazy Sexy Cool. 1996-1998, Puff Daddy, and No Way Out. In 1996, Combs, known as Puff Daddy, released his debut single, Can't Nobody Hold Me Down, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 for 28 weeks. His debut album, No Way Out, released on July 22, 1997, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, selling 561,000 copies in its first week. 
The album featured guest appearances and included the hit, I'll Be Missing You, which spent 11 weeks at number one. No Way Out earned Combs five Grammy nominations, winning Best Rap Album in 1998, and was certified septuple platinum by 2000. However, he faced criticism for his over-commercialized hip-hop sound, relying heavily on samples and guest features. 1999-2000, Forever. In April 1999, Combs was charged with assaulting Steve Stout over a music video controversy involving Nas's Hate Me Now. His second album, Forever, released on August 24, 1999, debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200 and produced three Billboard charting singles. 2001-2004, P. Diddy, and the saga continues. In 2001, Combs rebranded as P. Diddy. Although he completed an unreleased gospel album, Thank You, he also ventured into film. His third album, The Saga Continues, released in 2001, peaked at number 2 on the Billboard 200. He launched the reality show Making the Band and participated in charitable efforts like running the New York City Marathon. 2005-2009, Diddy, and Press Play. In 2005, Combs shortened his name to Diddy, starred in Carlito's Way, Rise to Power, and hosted the MTV Video Music Awards. His album Press Play, released in 2006, debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, featuring hits like, Come To Me. 2010-2013, Diddy, Dirty Money and Acting. In 2010, Combs formed the group Diddy, Dirty Money, releasing Last Train to Paris. The album included the single, Coming Home, which reached number 11 on the charts. 2014-2017, MMM and Bad Boy Anniversaries. In 2014, Combs released Big Homie and the mixtape MMM in 2015. He celebrated Bad Boy's 20th anniversary with a tour and released the documentary Can't Stop, Won't Stop in 2017. 2018, Present, Love and the Love Album, Off the Grid. Combs adopted the name Love in 2017, officially confirmed in 2022. He executive produced Burna Boy's Twice as Tall and launched Love Records in 2022. His fifth studio album, The Love Album, Off the Grid, 2023, reached number 19 on the Billboard 200, receiving mixed reviews and a Grammy nomination for Best Progressive R&B Album. About Sean Combs' Business Career In 2002, Fortune ranked Combs at number 12 on their list of top 40 entrepreneurs under 40. By 2017, Forbes reported he earned $130 million, making him the highest-paid entertainer that year. His net worth reached an estimated $1 billion by 2022. About Sean John. Combs launched the clothing line Sean John in 1998. It was nominated for the CFDA Menswear Designer of the Year Award in 2001 in 2004. In 2003, Ronald Burkle invested $100 million in the brand. Sean John expanded to include a men's fragrance, I Am King, in 2008, and introduced the girls' collection in 2016. About Sean Combs' other ventures. Combs heads Combs Enterprises, overseeing ventures like Revolt TV and Anice. He co-owns Aquahydrate with Mark Wahlberg and invested in Play VS, an esports company. He also partnered with Ciroc Vodka, though the partnership ended in 2023. About Sean Combs' religious views. Raised Catholic, Combs served as an altar boy but does not follow any specific religion. He believes in one God and is open to praying in a synagogue, mosque, or church. In 2023, he expressed the belief that God is a woman. About Sean Combs' charity work and honors. Combs founded Daddy's House Social Programs in 1995 to support inner-city youth. He pledged $1 million for Hurricane Katrina relief and donated computers to schools. Combs has received numerous honors, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and he donated $1 million each to Howard and Jackson State Universities in 2022. About Sean Combs' house. Sean, Diddy, Combs owns several luxurious properties. One of his most notable homes is his Beverly Hills mansion, which he purchased in 2014 for around $39 million. This European-style villa spans 17,000 square feet and includes a 3,000-square-foot guest house. The mansion features 10 bedrooms and 13 bathrooms, along with amenities like a grotto, an underwater tunnel, and a gym. Diddy also owns a $48 million mansion in Miami on Star Island. This property was used as collateral in a recent legal case. The Miami estate is made up of two homes, one purchased in 2003 and another in 2021. That's all for today. Thanks for joining us as we explored the remarkable career of Sean, Diddy, Combs. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Your support helps us bring you more inspiring stories. See you next time.